Howdy everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Handy Monk, and today we're going to be changing the oil on this Husqvarna riding mower. And so let's go ahead and get started. We just want to pop the hood here. One of the first things we want to do is just also warm the mower up, get the dirt mixed into the oil. On these Husqvarna's, they have an oil drain system, which is kind of cool. So on the right side of the engine here, there's this little plastic cap. You pop this off, and this is a little valve here that when you open, the oil will come out. And so what you want to do is you want to put a tube on the end of this sort of little valve, and then put it on here and run this tube into your drain pan. I just want to take my hose here. Actually, I found this hose, which is a little bigger, that I think will fit on here nicely. I might put a piece of tape on there just to help it and then we can drain it. Oh, yep, there we go, perfect. And the oil, you just turn it, loosen it up, and the oil is draining right out into the pan. So that worked perfectly, no leakage over there. So that works. It's very nice when you have the hose, then you just put it right into the pan. Otherwise, oil will leak out all along the surface and down there and make a big mess here. And so it is a nice system. So let's give that a few minutes to drain. All right, so it's just about finished draining there. There's just a few drips left. So let's go ahead and close this guy up. Okay. That's closed. Slide that off. A little bit of oil there. It's okay. Wipe that up. Okay, that's nice and clean. Just put this cap back on, slide this over here, and there we have it. So this unit has an oil filter which we want to make sure we change. I picked up a new one just again at Lowe's. This is the Briggs & Stratton filter, which you can see is on here. This one's been on here for quite a while actually. I like to write on the filter when I last changed it. So you can see last time I changed this was actually a while ago, June 2018, it had 163 hours on it. Right now it only has 172 hours on it, um, and so this mower actually sat for a long time. But we want to go ahead and change it because this has been on here a while, and it's been a while since we changed this oil. So, see how hard this is to get off. I'm just going to put a catch pan here, wipe this off pretty well. Things can get really tight. Mm, they've been on here a long time. Hmm. I don't know if I have an oil filter wrench. Oh. Let me go check. So I actually tracked down a filter wrench, which is really exciting. And so I'm just going to try to grab this guy here, apply a little bit more torque. And it comes right off. Very good. Let's loosen that up. It should start dripping. I'm sure, it's loose enough to grab a hand. Yep. Let's let that drain. Let's get this guy off without dropping it. Aha! There we go. Perfect. Oops, that's it there. So, when installing the new filter, it's always important to oil this O ring right here. You want to make sure you put a little bit of oil on here so that it seats well and seals against the surface. So, I'm going to take a little bit of new oil from my container, 
Let's pour it on the rim a little bit. Go. And I'm just gonna take my finger and coat the new gasket. So you wanna make sure that this does not leak. And so you just put a little bit of oil on there and then tighten it on. And we're only gonna hand tighten this. Except I got oil on it. It's slippery. Snug this up a little bit just so it's hand tight. Okay, that should be good. And that's the filter. Let's add some oil. So when we add the new oil, we want to put that in through the fill tube, the dipstick tube, which is on the opposite side of the engine. So I've got that right here. I've got a funnel. I'm just going to clean out my funnel. So that's good to go. Wipe this off. Pull out the dipstick. Wipe it off. Set it aside. Just wipe off this surface. I keep dirt from falling in. And then, according to the user's manual, it takes that's not gonna stay, is it? It takes four pints. And so this is, one of these containers is three pints right here. It's 48 ounces, so I'm gonna put the whole thing in and then just check it and then probably add another 16 ounces to get to the full four pints. I'm also watching the drain spout to make sure that it's fully closed and none of this oil is leaking out, which it's not, which is good. Okay. okay. It's full, but I think it's a little bit low still. So I've added the three, I've added three pints, and I want to just give it a start just so it'll suck down the oil and then I can check it. I think it's going to be a little bit low, but it's easier to add than subtract. So let me clear up a little bit and we're just going to start this, check for leaks, and go from there. So it says here, you can see the dipstick, it looks like it's actually full after just three pints. And so that, uh, I'll keep an eye on it, but for now I'm just going to leave it there, start it back up, let it run for a second. I didn't see any leaks initially, but let's just give it another check. Filter. Filter looks good as well, no drips. So uh, I think we're good. Actually, I'm just gonna date. Let me turn this off. I actually just want to write today's date on this new filter. That way in the future I know what the change was. There we go. Alright, now in the future I'll know when I change this. 173 hours. So there you have it guys, it's a pretty simple process. That's how you change your oil on one of these Husqvarna riding mowers. It's very simple and that's how you keep this running for seasons to come. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and remember to always go out and kindle and enlighten.